Hello and welcome back with Archbishop Cordiglione. We've seen the holy doors that welcome people in all during this past year, the theme of which is mercy, a year of mercy. Now, Archbishop, all of us, I think, are familiar with mercy and would like to have more of it. Mercy sounds pretty good. Um, I'd like some, we'd like to give some. But you've written, I think, about the relations between mercy and justice, mm -hmm. and further about the relation between mercy, justice, and repentance. It seems a complicated bit of dynamics. Maybe you could help us understand that. Mercy is uh, usually seen in juxtaposition to justice. Yes. Uh, so uh, they're not opposite ends of the spectrum. They're not mutually exclusive propositions or anything like that. They're complementary. So justice is giving to each his or her due, uh, what, what they are due. Yeah. And, uh, but mercy sort of softens the harsh edge of justice when it's applied absolutely in every circumstance. So mercy would take into account other factors outside of the consideration of justice, such as the possibility for the reform of the offender. So out of justice, someone guilty of a crime is convicted and pays you know, the debt to society the person owes. But out of mercy, maybe the sentence can be mitigated. Maybe the, the person shows sincere repentance. Maybe they were extenuating circumstances. The best way it is summed up, I believe, is in uh, one of the texts for our Mass, the preface at the beginning of that part of the Mass we call the Eucharistic Prayer, when the bread and wine will be consecrated at the, uh, the opening part of that. It speaks about, uh, to God about how in love you created man, in justice you condemned him, but in mercy you redeemed him. So out of strict justice, because we uh, rebelled against God, God created us for life, we rebelled against him, turned his back, in strict justice we w should be condemned. But out of mercy, God redeems us and sends his son to restore us to his life. And then what is our part as, if we have been shown mercy by God, what do we do with the mercy we've been given? Do we pass it on to others? Well, yes, of course. Uh, there are two sides of it. You had mentioned a moment ago about repentance. Uh, mercy presupposes the person seeking mercy knows that they've offended the one they're seeking mercy from and is rightfully due some punishment, but seeks mercy. So mercy, God's mercy presupposes that we recognize we have offended God, we have sinned, and as I'd mentioned in the previous segment, that is the whole idea of the Jubilee Year uh, concept. So we sincerely turn to God with contrite hearts to seek His mercy. When we receive God's mercy, then we are called to be merciful in turn to others. That was the whole theme of this Jubilee Year of Mercy, merciful as the Father, to extend and extend God's mercy to others, which is exactly what our Lord taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That makes sense in that we must realize that we are in great need of mercy. No matter how righteous and self-sufficient and even good I may be in my behavior, if I know myself deeply, I know that I'm in need of mercy. And here, here's something that the Pope wrote, mm -hmm. which is, is rather interesting, that mercy is an encounter between two hearts. And that makes it a very intimate sort of thing. Um, how do I put it? Um, it's not as if someone has offended me and therefore I give him mercy and we're done with it. It seems to be a relationship, a building of a relationship called mercy. And the Pope says the church's pulsing heart is mercy. Pope Francis is getting at the literal meaning of the root of the word mercy misericordia in Latin as it is in other Latin languages. Miser miseri, meaning suffering, we get the English word uh, misery from it, but corda, the heart, it's a matter of the heart, hearts coming together, in especially in moments of suffering. So it is, it's a relationship, it's an accompaniment that Pope Francis uh, exhorts us to so often. So very, very deep matters are in hand here. And I notice in the writing about this year of mercy that a frequent theme for Catholics has been forgiveness, and that means the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of penance. Um, can you speak to that as a part of the year of mercy? This is God's great gift to us, isn't it, that he can extend us his, his forgiveness through this sacrament. 
when we can have assurance with the, when we have, a, again, a contrite heart and confess our sins, that he gives us the assurance through the ministry of the church of the forgiveness of our sins and restitution to his life. On the practice of mercy um, and the experience of it in your own life, uh, what can you tell me? I, I imagine that your discovery of your vocation to the priesthood is an instance of mercy from God to you. Is that a fair way of putting it? Yes, you could put it that way. Uh, works of mercy really are different sort of works of, of charity. We speak about the corporal and spiritual work. So I would certainly say growing up, being, being instructed in the faith, being taught to pray, uh, being taught uh, to know God, all these sort of what would be connected with the spiritual works of mercy, as well as um, basically being taught to be a good person and to help others kind of in a simple way, learning the corporal works of mercy certainly formed me into the person that I became, which ended up being a person open to God's call to this kind of service. The Catholics have a list of the seven corporal works of mercy and seven spiritual works of mercy implying that a person is also spirit as well as body, and that the spirit needs sustenance and tenderness too. Uh, that strikes me as a very interesting part of the teaching. This is a core principle of our Catholic social teaching, our understanding of the human person, where we're not just a physical being, we're actually primarily a spiritual being, and we're uh, physical as well, and we're social. The, all three, these three dimensions are integrative, of who we are. We're, we're one being with these three different, three different aspects to our one being. That makes sense, the whole person. We'll be back after this break and talk further with the Archbishop about the Year of Mercy. Mm -hmm. 